good very very early morning we're so <laughs> glad you're here daily vlog so if you like this video we'll help you come back tomorrow now it's time to go to the airport it may not be mco but they still got some orlando bling bling going on they got fuel rods here though and quite a bit of construction going on around the terminals but it is pretty it's strange here, but it's basic. It's got your basic airport needs. You got a Hudson News, Cinnabon, Starbucks, and a Chibuga Chibuga, which I've never heard of. I think I've heard of before, but I've never seen before. It looks good. It's literally just like it's five gates. And that is it. Well, there's another side, but that's like another five gates over there. But I got this cool seating area. Nobody's here yet for my flight, but Disney Channel's on, but I bought a book. Let me put my stuff down, I can show you, because I decided I'm going to read more. Now I'll just power, right? I have landed. It is like 9.30. Dom just texted me and said their estimated time of arrival is 2.40 p.m., which is much better than I thought. Oh, there's a Ferris wheel here. Hold on, let me show you. Check out that Ferris wheel. Um, I didn't even put two and two together. I'm in Kentucky. All right, so I took a taxi over to near Germantown on the outskirts of downtown Louisville. Dropped off at Vigrits, which is the place I'm gonna go eat breakfast or lunch at in about an hour. It's not open yet. But I'm just walking down the street because I saw on the map there's a bunch of cool shops and stuff. Very cool vibe. A lot of little small shops that I see. You can tell it's an older city. There's bits and pieces of cobblestone sidewalk and everything. And I'm actually heading towards the river as well, so I got an hour to kill before lunch and then I'll indulge in that and see where the day takes me. Cheers to vegan food and beer. Here's the regrets of all the foliage. It's woman owned. Brewery is over there. They got me a nice hoppy brand new beer that just released this past week. I have a vegan hot chicken crispy sandwich with cheese grits. My mouth is salivating. I got some plants here. I got a charger going. I have to, I gotta eat this because I have to, look at it. Look at it. I just need to. 12 seconds later. All right, here we're, here's where we're at. The cheesy grits, very similar to Market on South. This is hot chicken fried steak vegan and it is so good. I had to show it mid bite because like from the last shot to now was approximately 40 seconds. And it's only gonna be like another 30 seconds between all that stuff. I don't know where Dom and the guys are, but they are missing out. They're somewhere in Ohio right now. But maybe they'll wanna come back because this is only a few blocks away from our Airbnb, so we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna make the walk to the Ohio River, but I couldn't not pass by this and go check it out, especially because I see some mural back there. Look at this awesome, awesome sign here. Martin's Louisville Barbecue Joint. Well, 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 look what I found. Louisville Slugger Field. I didn't even realize I was gonna pass this until like a block ago. But I'm gonna take the next right and it should get me to the, the riverfront. I like these cool like electric scooters they have to drive around town. Murals everywhere. It's getting warmer, but it's still not humid, so I'm loving it. Okay, I'm almost at the river, but right over there, we got KFC Yum Center. Louisville Slugger Field right here. And look right here, of all the things for me to walk past. The official finish line of the Kentucky Derby Festival Marathon. I only made it to the Waterfront Park. This is where I plan on, at some point, I'm gonna find the time tomorrow and the next day, and maybe today to go running, because tomorrow and Saturday I'm due for nine miles. Oh, look at those bridges. Yes, I also spent an enorm enormously too large amount of my childhood trying to dig deeper and deeper with one of these, but they're literally they're fixed. You can't dig to China with them. Sorry, kids. So, I think that was just about a three mile, under just under three mile trek from where I was to right about here. I'm just gonna hang out here and read and relax and do something I very seldom ever do and just soak up my time. This is not cool. I had him sitting here and I went to go, I threw my heavy overly filled luggage right here, over here on top of them to get to hold my cell phone to try to get a time lapse of the beautifulness and I smashed my sunglasses. 
It was a nice little relaxing like hour and a half break. I've been reading that book. I'm not a big reader, so I'm doing pretty good that I knocked out about a, close to 100 pages today, but I really wish I could have gone on a run, but I would have been all nasty and sweaty and I have a laptop with me. Who, where would I put that? I don't know. But here's Cave Hill Cemetery. Looks gorgeous in there. Hoping to get a good run or two in there. That's where Colonel Sanders, from the guy who created KFC, he is actually laid to rest there. So maybe I'll check that out. Probably won't vlog that, but you never know. Maybe I will. That last, the walk from the riverfront to here was not shaded. So I got a nice sweat brewing. Give Dom a nice big sweaty hug. Sarah, could this not be a combination of walking down Roscoe to go to the Blue Line or Beverly. Gorgeous. I love a good shaded street. What? I left the house in the middle of the day. Um, it's really weird. I mean, I've, I've had the car before, but like I've, I would like have already had lost time from like driving Peter to work or whatever I needed the car for if it was like an appointment or something. And so I never like used the car. So mid work day I am going to Publix to get like not a true round of groceries but just sort of enough to last for me it's pouring rain um, over this weekend and like a couple of meals once Peter is back and I just missed getting out before it started raining I'm gonna wait it out for a little bit <laughs> Okay, I'll do mini grocery haul. So the main thing I was getting ingredients for were these Thai veggie lettuce wraps. My little sister, Christina, had made them and I was like, I need to make those. So both the baby carrots and the cucumbers will be sliced up for on top. I did forget my reusable bags. Something I'd recently read online was that in order to save the planet, we don't all have to be perfect at our plastic use, um, reusing containers and reusing bags and such. We need everybody to do an imperfect job, at least to do something about it. And so I like to point out that I did forget and, it, and that is okay, but if for every, you know, eight times you go to the grocery store out of 10, you're able to eliminate some of the plastic that you use, that's a huge deal. And then there's a peanut sauce that goes with it. So I got this Skippy. Um, sriracha goes with that. Sesame ginger um, salad dressing. Christina used like a ginger lime one. I couldn't find that. So I have some limes. I'll just use some lime juice. And then some teriyaki sauce. I was also out of ginger. I think that's that for the wraps. So I was just out of pickles and oregano. Pickles and actually the carrots and the tomatoes are like things that I regularly will snack on during the day. So there's that. Got some tortillas and these green chilies for just like a simple like bean concoction that I can have for dinner the next couple of days. I also got guacamole. Like we've been shopping at Aldi for a while, but there was some stuff I knew I wouldn't be able to get there, so that's why I went to Publix. They always have really good buy one get one free deals, so I got two guacamoles, two different hummuses, plain chips. This is what I'm most excited for. I've been searching, searching, searching for a plant-based queso style dish. My only concern is I typically like my queso hot. I don't know if I can heat this up or not. This dip can definitely not be heated up. I think the key thing is the peppers because it has that peppery taste. I really like it. Look at that, me back on a G7X, you know what that means? I'm Look hot, you. I'm very hot. These Detroitians can't handle this 70 degree weather. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel and it's good to be home. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back with this guy. Oh, you are sweaty. Yeah. If, this video, if this video gets 100 likes. It might. What are you gonna do? So, <laughs> we, get, we get that. I'll be back tomorrow. There you go. If, this video gets my channel to a thousand subscribers. I'll restart. You don't even have a I'll, channel anymore. I'll, I'll restart posting videos on YouTube. All right, fine. We'll put the link down below. Thousand Dom and Vic. A thousand subscribers. Dom We're at like two fifty. The seven hundred and fifty people at the end of the weekend. <laughs> I'll start posting once a week. 
Is that a promise? It's a promise. Look at this. So I want to show you, all the guys are outside. I'm about to go out there and join them, but here's the entrance. Look at this beautiful entryway. Look at this stair. Look at Sarah, look at these stairs. You've got a dining room right here with a fireplace, air mattress. You got a beautiful couch. That's the, basically the kind of couch I want for our new living room. Listen, that is the stairs of my life. I love window sills like this, single pane, terrible efficiencies. So mid-level, we got Mr. Eveco and Dom. Creepy mirror that definitely ghosts come out of. Nice bathroom. Second bedroom, we got one bed, two bed, air mattress, old fireplace closed up, another bed. Oh wait. There's another floor, and this is where I, oh, look at this family. Side note, found out at the cemetery that Colonel Sanders is buried at, so is Muhammad Ali. So here is top floor, mattress, mattress, air mattress, air mattress, couch. Me and Shane will be sharing that. TV, looking good. Because I haven't seen him in so long, and he's one of the few people I know very well here, I got carried away talking to Mr. Yipko, so I'm gonna go back outside and hang out with the guys. I got to talk to Mr. Yipko and his brother about our wedding back in the day. They said Margarita Little Resort, which opened up about a year ago, so I'm gonna get back outside and hang out then. Side number two, leave a legacy coming down. Okay, so I made it to Epcot. Kind of surprisingly because I never realized like how much Peter coming home really dictates my day, so I feel like I like would, was not stopping working, like I could have done more. And I was like, just gotta go and enjoy it. Especially because Peter isn't here and Awesome Mix Live is going to be gone so soon. I'm gonna go and see it today. Cause I know Peter would if he was here. But before I make my way to the American Pavilion, I'm gonna do another thing that Peter would definitely do. I was really worried this was closed at seven, so I'm so happy it's open. Cheers, Peter. All right, three hours later, we're at the Eagle Food and Bar Hall for some dinner. All right, so we are at the Eagle Food and Beer Hall. They don't, it's famous for its fried chicken, so I don't think I'm gonna have many options. I'm gonna go for the summer salad with a pickled blueberry, pecan, mixed greens, arugula, cucumber, radish, peach vinaigrette, remove the feta. Good to go. Look at this whole chicken. This is my side of fries, and I got a salad coming my way as well. With five minutes to spare, I made it. Your Epcot has been identified as a cultural epicenter. dragged us halfway across the galaxy for. Happening right behind us. Oh, Aww, an infant sequoia. No, he's the answer to all of your problems. Hey, buddy. I, you, I need you to pull up a song for me. It should be at the tip top of my playlist. Ooga chaka, ooga, ooga, ooga chaka, ooga, ooga. Ah. my awesome mix and I gotta say you're pretty quick learners. Oh, yes we sound good. Sardu Hasselfrau! Whoa 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 don't go getting on Mariah and the gang on me just yet. There's still a few things I need to teach you before you become the galaxy's greatest cover band! No 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 no
proud of you. Take it away. No, No, we just went over this. Come on, guys. Thank you for your help. Holy smoke. That show was so good. The cast was being so funny with each other. There were like drumsticks going around the stage the whole time being passed off. I was just like smiling ear to ear the whole time. I'm so happy that we'll be able to see the very last show Sunday, if not more than just the last one. But I'm really sad, but also really happy that we looked and that we weren't surprised like after the fact, like it was already over. Priorities. So I'm gonna watch From Future World right by the monorail. Um, I know Peter and I are doing all of the countries and I want him to be there for all of them, so I thought this was a great way for me then to get home. Um, so yeah, that's my plan. pool shot for the win. Oh. I'm tired. I'm ready for bed. Right. We're ready for bed, but we're going to, where are we going? The Holy Grail. That's a lie. We're going somewhere. I don't know where. Sarah's not going to include this in the vlog. Dude, Skyline Chili's right over here. And I really Stop. want to go Skyline Chili. Is that good? Go it's Skyline not that good. I don't trust Dom. Wait. Like <laughs> Hi cutie girl. Today's message. The purpose of life is to discover your gift. The meaning of life is to give to your give your gift away. David Viscott. We're gonna watch Cinderella. Um, it's only 10.30, but I'm just thinking I'll get an earlier start tomorrow. We were up early, early today. Eve's bite in the strap. An update on her, um, she's doing much, much better. I feel confident leaving her um, alone. Her belly is not upset. She is a little bit itchy just from like being shaved, but overall she's much, much more herself thanks to everyone who's asked. I just got off the phone with Peter. They're still out. I got to talk to him, Dom, and Shane, which is really cool because um, the three of them haven't been together in forever. And yeah, they're having a good time. Right on time. Ice is her priority. Good night, and it is good to be home. Hey guys, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.